Hi there, Libra, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of November 2023. I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out in the monthly format. Let's see what your reading is. We're going to start with the overall energy, which happens to be Sagittarius energy, temperance in the upright position. Well, this is a card that, card that represents healing. It's very balanced. It's very cooperative. Cooperation is very, very important. And it looks like this month you may be getting cooperation in spades. Good news for those of you who just joined on a team at work or you started a new job, you could find that you are actually working with your tribe. These people are on the same page as you. They're being, they're going out of their way to be cooperative with you. I call this my baker's card. Some of you could be baking this month and turning out some delicious treats. Let us know in the comment section below if that's what's going on. In week one, you have the beautiful nine of cups rooted down by the four of cups in the upright. Uh, week two, you have the ace of cups rooted down by the eight of cups reversed. Okay, and in week three, we have the Empress rooted down by the Six of Pentacles in the upright position. And in week four, you have the Eight of Swords rooted down by the Nine of Pentacles in the upright. So let's start with week one here, Libra, the Nine of Cups with the Four of Cups upright. Nine of Cups is the beautiful energy of the wish manifestation card. This is the wish manifestation card. So this is where uh, something really uh, incredible could happen for you this week. And it's something that you wish for. Sometimes the wish card comes up when it's just a small wish that we, you know, hope that this is gonna happen or that's gonna happen. And then it like kind of does right away. Other times the wish card can come up when it's something major we've been wishing for and hoping for for a long time finally manifests. Uh, the only thing about the Nine of Cups card is it is a little bit um, uh, representing overindulgence. Just be careful you don't overindulge a little bit too much. You might be sorry. <laughs> And the Four of Cups is rooting it down, interestingly enough. It's like there is something being offered to you on the emotional front, and it seems like you're not interested. It may be one of those cases where nothing ever happens when it matters. Maybe you're being offered something that you wished for a while ago in terms of emotional fulfillment, but now that it's here, you have less interest in it. Could that be? Let us know in the comment section below. But either way, the Four of Cups represents being offered something from the universe that could be emotionally fulfilling. But for some reason, we are hesitant. This represents emotional apathy, pulling back from opportunities that could bring emotional fulfillment to us. Now, this can happen for many reasons. Sometimes uh, this happens like after a breakup, we're just not ready. We just broke up with somebody. We're just not ready for someone else to come on the scene. We need some healing time. Sometimes the Four of Cups can be um, we're being offered something, but it's at the wrong time. Maybe we're focused in on work or financial matters or even health matters at this time. And that's where our focus is. So it looks like you're being offered something. Well, um, a wish is coming true for you. But at this time, it could just be bad timing for you because you're not really ready. Um, in week two, though, we do have the beautiful Ace of Cups in the upright position, rooted down by the Eight of Cups reversed. Now, the Ace of Cups is all about opening up the heart, having that emotional experience. It makes us feel really good. It could be just finally giving ourselves a break and giving ourselves the much-needed self-love that we need, filling our own cup full of promise and emotional healing. For others of you, this is connected to the past because of the Eight of Cups in reverse. The Eight of Cups in the upright position is when we're going towards the Nine of Cups, when we're looking for something new to bring emotional fulfillment and happiness, and that's our wish and our desire. But now it seems like the Eight of Cups points back to the Seven of Cups in the upright position, which is a card that represents a lot of emotional fulfillment. Now, when it's coming, though, via the Eight of Cups in reverse, this indicates going back to the past. There was something that brought great emotional happiness and fulfillment to you, 
but it's rooted in the past. Now, this could have been a career that you loved. It could have been, especially if you were doing something creative, maybe you were, uh, you had a creative group around you and you once, you know, played music with them and painted with them or did whatever creative pursuits together. And maybe now you're just sort of searching. This is about that uh, vision quest, like looking for something that was once emotionally fulfilling because it seems like what you're being offered right now it's not something you want even though you wished for it it's not really exactly what you wanted what you want is something that is rooted in the past it could be a group of people could be a hobby could be a certain person something that great grow, great emotional fulfillment and the ace of cups is here too it could be an indication that you do find what you're looking for when you search back to you know like during the the time of searching through the seven of cups that's searching through something that could bring that emotional fulfillment back into your life again it's something that brought great happiness to you once upon a time you're just sort of checking it out to see if that it seems like that's what will open your heart more so than what you're being offered in week one now in week three you have the empress in the upright position rooted down by the six of pentacles well, the empress is the mother the mother figure it can come up uh indicating pregnancy maybe some of you are about to you know or just finding out you're with child it could be <clears throat> that the empress is representing just like the matriarch or it could be the ceo of a company someone in a position of power in the upright position this person is ready and willing and able to help you you just need to reach out to them they have a lot of compassion caring and understanding and will listen to you it's just a matter of you reaching out there's a lot of fairness and equality in this situation because the six of pentacles is rooting it down which indicates fairness and balance returns to a relationship that maybe lost its relationship or lost its balance rather six of pentacles is a very six is a balanced number as it is and this is a very balanced energy it does represent generosity it's a yes card if you need any assistance from someone especially if it's someone in position of power it could be a mother mother figure grandparent or something like that this is a card of generosity maybe somebody's being generous towards you uh, it's also a card representing equal work for equal pay. So if you do have any disputes that way in terms of your career or work wise, you could be going, maybe the Empress could represent HR or somebody in a position of power who could help bring the financial balance back to your situation again, could even be a boss for some of you. And for others of you, if you are going to the bank to look for some type of loan could be for a car or for a mortgage or something like that chances are there will be a yes remember energies can go both ways so this could be perhaps if you are being representative of the 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 empress where you are the mother the mother figure or the grandmother in this scenario it could be that somebody needs your assistance and you're able you're in a position and able to be able to help them and you probably will now in week four we have the eight of swords in the upright rooted down by the nine of pentacles the eight of swords is an energy of feeling confined now the only thing is most of the time with the eight of swords the confinement is coming from our own mind we are putting ourselves in a sort of mental prison if you will where we feel that there is no escape we do need to find an escape hatch an escape route in this case if that's how you feel it could be your own thoughts and it could be other people putting thoughts in your head too making it seem worse some of you are temporarily restrained to a situation it's like you're locked in maybe you have a contract you can't leave right now but the desire is definitely there the nine of pentacles is rooting it down this is the strong independent person energy this is a situation where you are independent you could be coming free becoming free of someone and becoming independent on your own now in week four uh, sometimes that can be the case because the eight of swords is sometimes when we're trapped in a relationship where we feel there's no way out and then you know if you find a way out you may find yourself this is known as the single person so single but ready and able to take care of themselves this is extremely independent energy so it could be that that is your answer your way out is to become extremely independent and just do what you need to do to you know find your escape hatch here 
looks like an interesting interesting reading uh do want to hear from you guys in the comment section below like what is going on here it looks like whatever you're being offered in week one it's not something you really want it's uh what you really want it seems to be rooted in the past whether it be a career a, a job a, a hobby or a person or people it's something that is connected to the past it's not connected to right now to what you're being offered so interesting interesting month here for you libra and in closing i always pull two cards from the zodiac deck one is for love and romance and for career and finance so we'll start with love and romance for libra in now we have moon in libra number 19 love so it could be another libra is the uh love interest it could be the through or uh either with or through a Libra, you find a new love. Or it could be uh, when the moon is in Libra during the month of November. Something significant happens with your love life. Second card is career and finance. What do we have here? Gemini. Moon in Gemini, indecision number 15. Just don't be indecisive when it comes to your uh, career and finance here, Libra. When the moon's in Gemini or on the 15th of November, be ready to move, especially if you are in business with a Gemini or can um, gain something through a Gemini financially. So that's what I have for you. I really hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again next time. Take care. Much love. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a fabulous month of November. Bye-bye for now.